Hey, what's happening, guys? Hope you are having a good day today. It is Friday, and I got off work early, so I'm having an excellent day so far. Um, it's kind of cold and cloudy out today, but for the most part, it's uh, going to be a good weekend. I can feel it. We are getting closer to Thanksgiving and Christmas, which means I have 11 days off for Thanksgiving and 10 or 11 days off for Christmas also and New Year's. So I have quite a bit of time off coming up. Some of it is paid, which is nice. Uh... Today I carried my Maverick S from Christensen Knife Works. Love this thing. It's going to be with me for the next couple of days at least because I missed it quite a bit. And I just got this bad boy out. I forgot I I I forgot I got it kinda till somebody I was I think I was in KC's live stream and somebody said something about the penguin and I was like, oh yeah, I forgot I got the penguin plus. So I got this out and I also carried, I carried that at work. I just got that out and then I carried this guy, the impulse mini from vero love that thing and then i also had lancelot leather slip and the orj the ohio river jack i love this thing i want to get a jack wolf knives uh, knife too, so I can see what they're all about. I'm sure they're good if they're better or just like the Ohio River Jack. Uh, I'm sure it's going to be, or I'm sure they're very good. Uh, today I have an unboxing. This comes from Vosteed which that gives it away right there what what it is let's see what's going on everyone was i've seen over the last week or so everyone unboxing these everyone and their brother and sister so i almost was gonna just kind of wait to do to do it just wait a few days but I figured I might as well just go ahead and unbox it and get it out there while everyone else is doing the same exact thing but I guess that's what happens I've noticed from time to time or fairly often for that matter. So it is what it is. Boy, that packaging's cool though. I guess I never really paid attention much to the videos I watched of the unboxing because I don't know how to even open it. Boy, that's cool. Nice. Nice packaging. Oh, no shit. So they give you a patch. Nice. I didn't, I must not have paid attention very well in the unboxings of some of the ones I watched because I didn't know about any of, any of that stuff. I didn't know about the patch. I'm guessing that's a sticker. Feels like one anyway. Um, get the pouch you get 
couple support card and this is a coa i guess and then you get nice little cloth those come in handy i got i have a whole ziploc bag full of them but that's cool and here we have the pouch nice pouch and i got the blue micarta i was gonna get the green and then i was gonna get the black and then i was gonna get the green and then i said i don't have any blue so i might as well snag the blue one there's green for some perspective it's like a green blue they called it blue it is blue uh this is my first Vostede. Uh, I almost got the Nightshade a few times, and then I almost picked up another one of their models. Uh, but I just never got around to it. And then when I saw they was putting this out, and some of the other stuff they already just put out, or are putting out, it seems like they're trying to actually improve and do do some good things uh nice and centered everything looks good nice smooth transition there pocket clip the screws and the clip are both recessed it's not deep carry which doesn't bother me one way or another uh, that's why they make more than one knife. If you want to carry a knife deep carry, then get one with, you know, have more than one knife. Get one with a deep carry clip. Uh, but yeah, that don't bother me at all, especially when it comes to, you know, carrying a knife for work purposes. It allows you to grab it easier out of your pocket because you can get a little purchase there Let's see what's going on oh yes yeah so we got a nice drop point blade very spear pointy also very close to spear pointy but boy that's that's nice very nice nice satin mirrored finish it's got a nice stock on it and it comes down real thin it is in 14c i believe yep raccoon 14C 28N. Yeah, this is nice. Thumb studs are comfortable. It's got good sound. Yeah, the thumb studs are, oh, hit the Mavi. Thumb studs are comfortable. Yeah, that's right. The, the button is semi-recessed there. It is recessed uh, compared to the top layer. And then they kind of have this chamfered out in here and then they have the button set down in there so it's smooth that's that's nice and it stays almost underneath the top layer 
when it is open. I've never had a problem with a button lock ever closing unless I push the button in. So I I hear people talk about that. Maybe there, there's been instances, but I mean, you'd have to... You'd almost have to be deliberately over top of the button. You know what I mean? You'd have to almost place your finger on it, you know, for something like that to happen. And even then, I'm pushing in on it. And all it does is create that little bit of wiggle. So... I've never had an issue with unlocking the knife unless I wanted to. I like this. They got Vostede right here. No big deal. It's nice and small and out of the way. Then they have the name of the knife with the steel. Probably could have done without the name of the knife. We know what it is, but... It's so minimal that that's not really a huge deal. And it's nice and centered. You know, if you're kind of anal about stuff like that. Uh, the Vostede is centered and looks good. It's nice and small and minimal. Uh, it, look, it goes with, you know, flows together. Uh, the hardware is all nice. Everything's nice and uh, mirror. It's got that mirrored effect, but it doesn't have. It doesn't look cheesy or cheap either. It looks nice and finished. Uh, if they would have done it, just I mean, it's nice. The pocket clip's decent. It stays low. They did, you know, they did uh, put the. Uh, screws and the back end of the clip there and recess it so it stays out of the way i guess you really can't complain uh they got a little emblem there little emblem there on the uh clip so you can't really complain about that uh it works feels good The micarta is very nice. It's got good texture to it. Good grip. Well finished. Everything looks really good. The plunge lock looks good and strong. Yeah, I'd say Vostede, they they did well with this bad boy. And I think they are they're 59 bucks. And I ordered this the day you could order them, I believe. And it just got here yesterday or no. I think I've had it for 2 days. So I could have actually unboxed this on Wednesday, but I got this guy back and I decided to do this first. Uh, not that it really matters. Uh, but 59 bucks uh, for 14C. Awesome finishing work. Uh, comfortable thumb studs, good action, good micarta. They do black and green, like I said, and the blue here. It is lefty friendly. Got a useful blade shape. I mean, I wish there was more knives. I mean, there's a good range of budget knives, but for 59 bucks to get that kind of quality... And you can tell these have been well uh, looked, 
looked upon, you know, the their quality control is seems to be from everything I've seen, their quality control is awesome. And their finishing work is is very good. So I can see why so many people like that uh like these Vostid knives. Uh There it is up against the old Maverick. It's a little bigger than that. And there is the new Penguin Plus. Which it's just a hair smaller. You almost have exactly the same handle length. And you're just shy on the blade, just just a little bit. I'd say like an eighth of an inch, maybe, if that. I don't have any set knives that I compare to. Uh, that way it doesn't get, I don't know. It seems like doing that same thing every day, comparing them to the same knives day after day. I don't know. That doesn't seem... That's not for me, I guess. There it is up against the Vero. The Vero is a full size... The Mini. This Mini is a full size knife. Uh... And there it is up against the Ohio River Jack. A little bigger than that. A little smaller than the Vero. I love this knife, man. Time out. My son's movie was over. And... He needed something new to watch. Let's see what kind of edge they got on here. Yeah, that wants to cut even though I'm not hitting it right. That's nice and sharp. Very sharp. Yeah, that's, that's very sharp. Very, very, very sharp. Yeah, they did good. And you can get 14C. Very, very sharp. Very, very sharp. Uh, yeah, I would say Vostid killed it. Um, you actually can order these right now. But you cannot, they aren't ready to be shipped. Um, according to, and this must have just changed, I'm guessing they ran out. Uh, but you can pre-order them, 59 bucks, And it says the delivery will be on the 20, or no, 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 sorry. We'll begin delivery on the 28th, 11-28. So I'm guessing what they mean is they will begin delivering again then. Uh, so if you order now, you'll have to wait, what, a week? A week or so. I don't remember what the day is. Like a week and a half, probably. Uh, so I would say this is 100%. 
a go as far as what I'm getting here. Um, for 59 bucks, there should be no, uh, the proof is, you know, you can tell when something is going to be good and you can tell when something's going to be questionable and there, you know, and there are times where you think something's good and you find out down the road a week or a month or two months, whatever, that it isn't so good. Or one you think is bad when you get it and you use it and then you realize, no, it's actually good for this and this. Or, you know, this type of care, whatever it might be. There's always, there's so many avenues and alleys uh, when it comes to uh, knife usage and the use case and predicting all of that off of an overview. Um, but I would say just off the unboxing and overview, I would recommend snagging one of these for sure. Uh, it looks like they really care about their quality control, I mean, their packaging is some of the best I've seen, actually. There's only a few companies uh, that I can even think of that do anything even sim like close to that. Devo, EMP, Vero, and I'm going to leave some out, but there's not many. You know, usually you get a box and a bag and that's it. And it looks like somebody picked that box off out of an alley, you know. Uh, so it seems like these guys are going to be around for a while. And I'm going to have to go ahead and pick up another Vosti of some sort. Maybe the Nightshade, we'll see. Uh... But if you are subscribed, thank you. If you are not subscribed, please consider hitting the subscribe button. Ring the bell so you can get a notification when I drop a video. And hit the like button. And leave a comment. Let me know what you think about this guy. Did you pick one up? Are you going to pick one up? Or is this not your style? Alright guys. You have a good weekend. And I will catch you on the next one.